Welcome from sunny Spain, one of our most spontaneous trips and now three of us. So say hello to Mia. Hey Mia, say where you are. So we landed in beautiful Girona airport, only two hours flight from London airport and we are now in this beautiful little town called Tossa de Mar and it's absolutely amazing, we just love, we love Spain and we decided a perfect first trip with a baby. But before we go any further, I would really appreciate if you can hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more travel adventures. I would really appreciate your support because that gives us motivation to continue. So we are on our way to the castle and I must say it's not the easiest hike when you have a pram, but Totally manageable, just make sure that you step with um, obviously water or milk for the baby, um, whatever that is, any snacks. Um, but it's beautiful. It took us a couple of minutes, or probably 15 minutes, um, to go to the top, so it's not too bad. And it's early morning as well, so it's not too hot. Um, but the weather in Spain this week is absolutely stunning. So, look at the views behind me. This is the view from the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we just so in love. And this is probably one of our most spontaneous trips, especially when you consider that we have seven months old baby <laughs> and it is our first family trip as well. So, oh, yeah, stay tuned. So we are on our way to explore this beautiful town of the Sade Mare, as I mentioned. And I must say it's gorgeous. We can find a lot of uh, old and like little cafes around the corners, uh, restaurants. So a lot of hidden gems, if I'm honest. So come along with us. We will take you further down. It's I'm um, just saying if you're traveling with a baby, so we are having we are having a pram as you guys see. Uh, the cobble streets aren't the easiest to travel, but completely manageable. So, if uh, we can do it, I can do it too. Now, let's drop some knowledge bomb. Did you know that the town dates back to Roman times? It's like walking through a history of every step. And the rumor has it the castle was a secret pirate hideout back in the day. Imagine pirates strolling these cobblestone streets. Absolutely awesome. And look at that hidden gem just behind me. We were just passing by uh, around the castle and oh, we found this gorgeous little like a cove beach. So sad, not many people to be honest, not yet. It's still early in the morning. And I must say, our little explorer had so much fun and she was so chilled the entire time we were having walk around the town. I must say, she's born to the travel. And let's not forget the delicious Spanish food. It was absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, even a simple trip to the supermarket ends up with a trolley full of freshly baked goodies like pastries, bread, everything was simply very, very nice, nicely made. So I do recommend when you're in Spain, don't forget you have plenty of tapas bars. So you need to make sure you check that in as well. You need to try paella, obviously in Spain, with a nice glass of chilled sangria. And then a trip to a supermarket are a must as well, because even with a simple walk to the shop, you can find delicious freshly made goodies so make sure to check that out as well anyway just as a curiosity i'm not sure if you're aware but spain has the most bars per inhabitant in the world so that's a lot of sangria and tapas to explore so make sure you do that
So our stay we selected a really nice hotel, 10 minutes work from the beach, which is Golden Bahia, De Tosa and Spa. It was absolutely great. I'm telling you guys, we selected half board bases because for us, breakfast and dinner were absolutely enough, especially since we're, we were spending most of our time outside anyway, exploring the city, the beach and other areas. And I must say we had really great deal for our half board stay. We booked through a booking home and definitely can recommend the website. We use that so many times and it was absolutely brilliant. We had nice um, double room. Our room had access to balcony overlooking the mountains, so it was really beautiful. We sat there sipping a wine and just enjoyed the view while Mia was sleeping. And just so you guys know, the hotel had also two large swimming pools for adults and they are really nice. And two kids swimming pools, so more than enough for kids and plenty of sunbeds. I'm telling you, more than enough for everyone. And look at Mia, her first swim in the obviously kids swimming pool. She was having so much fun. I could watch her funny face forever, honestly. She was brilliant. So yes, enjoying a family time in the swimming pool at Golden Bahia de Tosa in beautiful Tosa de Mar. And look at that beautiful location surrounded by mountains. I think it was just perfect for us as a family. So for those of you who are enjoying indoor swimming pools, just so you know, this hotel also have the indoor swimming pool and really convenient location, very close to a large supermarket. So you always have access to plenty of shops and only 10 minutes stroll to the beach and the castle. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. They also have these trams that take you around the city. The adult ticket costs 8 euros, so I think that's really good price for 45 minutes um, around the town, so you can see all the main attractions. So let's quickly talk about the flight with baby. It wasn't our first time flying with Mia. We obviously flew before with her few, on a few occasions. However, it was the first proper family holiday. So just so you know, we actually prepped for it in advance so we make sure we have plenty of snacks for her plenty of different toys and the pro tip is if you're flying with a baby it's a good idea to always have like a new toy it can be something very simple very cheap doesn't have to be expensive but obviously it will occupy the baby for a moment because it's something new something different and the flight was only two hours from two hours from london to girona airport so it was relatively short flight and Mia also had a nap in between because we had really early boarding at uh, 6 a.m. in the morning so it was very very early for her and yeah it was actually quite smooth a breeze to be honest we didn't have any issues at all and going through the security very simple as well just make sure you obviously have all necessary baby items in one backpack that's a pro tip as well and it then makes the whole process very simple very smooth and much more effective and also you are allowed to have milk and hot boiled water in the thermos as well if your babies are still fed so yeah simple But please let me know in the comments below what are your tips when flying with a baby because Mia is getting older and it will be much harder to um, keep her occupied throughout the flight and we are planning longer flights. So please drop me some um, info, some tips on how do you manage your flights with the baby and what is your experience in general. I will really, really much appreciate that. And for us, one item that makes a massive difference was that baby carrier. That's because Mia doesn't always like to be in a pram. She gets bored quite easily. And then when she's in the baby carrier, she can explore a bit more, she can see better. And honestly, she absolutely loves this. So for us, the baby carrier worked perfectly. It was like a charm. She would really, really enjoy that, as you can tell from her little smiley face.
one of the reasons we love this trip so much is the fact that Spanish people are so friendly. Honestly, nothing is too much trouble for them and they're always very helpful and always smiling. So yeah, it just makes the entire experience so great. So traveling to Spain was always our, one of our favorite destinations in Europe. So I can truly recommend if you haven't been to Spain yet, make sure you book that ticket in 2024. Oh, and so that you know, guys, Chosa de Mar have few beach areas. They mostly type of cove beach, but they all really nice, intimate, beautiful. So I can really recommend when you in Chosa de Mar, make sure you head to the beach as well. And there is a little sunshine. She was really enjoying the views and the whole trip. We really enjoyed this trip. We didn't rush anywhere. We felt this is the slow type of travel for us this time. And obviously it was first family holiday as well. So we enjoyed having a walk around the town, finding different spots to sit and enjoy the views, drink a coffee. And obviously with Mia, she still small at the time. She was only seven months old. So whenever she felt like she needed a dab, we just, you know, take a break and, and honestly she slept in her pram a few times as well so yes traveling with a baby something different for us definitely an adventure but adventure i'm i'm really looking forward to but let me know in the comments below how do you guys manage the travels with the babies um did you travel to long hour destinations because this is our next plan so let me know in the comments below how do i prepare for a long hour flight so i would really appreciate any tips you can give me now here's the fun part the supermarket we decided to check out one of the most popular spanish supermarkets to give you an idea of the prices here Join us as we navigate through the aisles and discover some interesting local products. But first, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more travel adventures with our little one. We would really much appreciate support. Okay guys, so let's talk prices. We've got everything from the fresh produce to local snacks, bakery goods, and I have to say, the prices here are pretty reasonable. It's always good to know where to find the best deals, especially when you're traveling. And we found this supermarket to have one of the best reasonably priced products, if I'm honest with you, especially when obviously traveling with a baby, you need a little bit more extra stuff like diapers, moisturizers or wet tissues. So obviously the prices here were quite reasonable, so I can't really complain uh, since we were traveling light, we haven't brought many stuff with us, so we decided to head to the supermarket to get all the essentials that we needed for Mia. So we got some essentials for ourselves as well, since we were staying on half board basis, we do needed some snacks, so we make sure that um, obviously we restock a few things for ourselves as well. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys experience while traveling to Spain? What do you think about current prices? Um, from my point of view, I think they were quite reasonable. But as I mentioned, we were in, say, in one area mainly. And so prices may differ.
And there you have it, fellow travelers. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog, our first vlog as a family of three from Spain. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us for more travel adventures. Until the next time, adios amigos!